Yo, what is up guys? Destroyer here and I'm bringing you guys a new video. This video is back in World of Warcraft, but before we hop into it, I want to apologize for this audio quality. I had to switch out mics. My other mic seems to be broken right now, but this isn't absolutely horrible, so it's going to be like this for maybe one or two videos, then I will have it fixed. But very sorry about that. I will get that fixed soon. So let's hop right into the video. This video is how to get the Thundering August Cloud Serpent. Now this Cloud Serpent does cost 10,000 gold, well as it shows on the preview, but by the time you are exalted, which you have to be with the August Celestial to get it, it will only cost you 8,000 gold. Now this video is not on how to get the gold, but on how to get exal exalted with the August Celestials. Now if you come down here, this is um in your shrine, which I would recommend having a Hearthstone here. This is a really good place, especially for Pandaria. You're going to want to come over to this guy right in the corner, and if you want to see where I am on the map, as Alliance, I am here in the seven, um, the Shrine of Seven Stars, and over here you can be in the Shrine of Two Moons if you're a Horde player. Now, for the August Celestials, you're going to want to come to this guy right here, and here you are. Here is all the stuff they sell. They sell Tabards, which is going to help you get Exalted quicker with them, and then the Mount once you get Exalted. Now, these guys do have daily quests, but this will not get you very much experience with them at all. Now, I would recommend doing this in um, with the strategy I'm going to show you because it will give you a little bit more rep. But what I would recommend, first of all, have your guild tower on so you get um, boosts with all your reputation if you are able to get one of those. Now, the way I farm this, and I got it in one day, this is a really easy way to do it, is to farm Zandalari Warbringers. Now, if you do not know of these Warbringers, I'll show a picture on screen right now. And these Warbringers also drop the Dire Horn mounts. Now, uh, this is they drop three mounts: the Jade Dire Horn right here, the Amber Dire Horn, and the Slate Dire Horn. Now, most people are farming these right now because they are very popular mounts, as well as most people are farming the Warbringers for um, reputation. The Warbringers not only give you you reputation with the August Lustials, but the Klaxi and a bunch of other um, reps. Now, what you're gonna want to do is go to one of these five locations in the jade forest right here under this little lip there's one spawn over here in the kunai summit there's one spawn right along this cliff um kind of by the first house and between the cave and the first house and then when you go to talong steps right where all these trails meet right here at the very point before the ocean there's a spawn there down here in the dread waste right along the seaside like cliffside you can fly into this flight point and come down here there's a spawn and all the way down here, right on this island that's always gray, you can't discover it, there is a spawn right there. Now, the Warbringers spawn every 30 minutes to an hour, so there is a decent chance that you're going to find one of these guys. There are quite a lot of people camping them right now, but how it works is as long as you are, as long as a friendly faction hits it first and you hit it before it dies, you are able to get the loot. So if you're an alliance and a horde player hits it, you're not able to get the loot from the mount, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not horribly hard. So I, what I would recommend doing is starting off coming to Pandaria and then going to one of the five locations. It does not matter. Go to the location, the spawn location, camp there until one spawns, kill it, then go look around and tr or go to another spawn and camp there for a little while. And then once you kill it and keep track of the time since you've killed the first one, because once it's been about 30 minutes, I'd recommend going back to the first spawn location because you know one will be spawning there soon. But right after you um, kill one, you don't need to be there for at least 30 minutes because there's not going to be a spawn guaranteed until you hit that 30 minute mark. And it might be up to an hour, so you might have to wait a little bit, but that is the best way to farm them. Now, what the Zandalari Warbringers drop? are these items that will give you rep 1,000 reputation per item. Now, the August Celestial ones are little dra green dragons. They're really obvious, and I don't have any on me right now, but it will say August Celestial Reputation. Now, the Warbringers normally drop about three reputation boosts. They can drop it all for one faction or for multiple factions. Now, I have had three, like two drops where I get three reputation boosters for... Um, 
the August Celestials at once. And as long as you have your guild tower done, which gives you 100% more reputation with all the factions, each of those will give you 2,000 reputation and um, it will boost you up to Exalted incredibly quickly because you'll be getting quite a lot of them as long as you're farming the Warbringers quite well. You should be getting at least 3 kills per hour, which as long as you're getting August Celestial can be up to like 9 reputation boosters per hour, which will be 18,000 um, rate reputation per hour, which is absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know, Revered to Exalted, which is the highest reputation needed, um, it's only 21,000. So you can get, I would say you can get it completely done if you get a good farm in like 4 hours. You can have all the way up to Exalted with the August Celestials in 4 hours. If you get lucky with your farming and you're not getting a bunch of kills on the Warbringers stolen from you. So it's not a horribly hard reputation farm, and by the time you are exalted, this mount only costs 8,000 gold, which isn't absolutely horrible, but as long as you're exalted, you're able to buy all the other things they give, and um, you're able to just save up your gold for quite a long time. I personally really like this mount. It's a really pretty mount, and um, I don't see many people riding Thundering Serpents. Most people have either Basic Cloud Serpents or don't have them at all. So I think this is one of the easiest Thundering Cloud Serpents you can get for um, a pretty decent price and not a very long time grinding. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this guide. Hopefully it has been helpful. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Black Ops 3, Destiny, and World of Warcraft. And good luck on your adventures trying to get this mount. See you guys.